Hi, in this video we're going to continue the upgrade process for SD1. On the previous one we saw how to upgrade only the vManage. So in this one we're going to upgrade the other controllers and the vEdge. So we're going to upgrade vBond, vSmart and vEdge. So let's take a look at my lab topology. As you can see I have the controllers here on the cloud and we're going to upgrade uh, vBond, vSmart and we're going to upgrade VH16 as well. So if we take a look at vManage, uh, at this moment I have vManage uh, running code version 20.3.5. As for vSmart and vBond, uh, they are running the version 20.1.3. So if we look at software upgrade controller and we see vSmart and vBond uh, currently they're running version 20.1.3 and we're going to upgrade to version 20.3.5 as for the edges uh, for instance 16 is running uh, the version 19.2.2 .2. so first we have to upgrade to 20.1.3 and at the end we're going to upgrade to version 20.3.5 so by the end of the lab uh, all the devices they will be running the version called 20.3.5 if you want to see how to upgrade vManage you can find the link uh, in the corner so we're just going to focus on vSmart, vBond and vEdge okay as I mentioned we only need one file to upgrade all the three devices so first I'm going to upgrade the controllers to version 20.3.5 so I have to import this file into vManage so that should be the Viptela file uh, 20.3.5 I'm going to open and upload okay the upload process is completed and we can see that the new file Viptela 20.3.5 is already inside vManage so if we go to software upgrade controller and let's select both controllers and we're going to click on upgrade now here we're going to select the version 20.3.5 and we're going to select this box activate and reboot so that we don't have to manually activate the image and reboot the, the controllers. So this process is going to take some time. So once it finishes, uh, we're going to continue. Okay, it looks like the upgrade process is completed for vBond and vSmart. So let's take a look at software upgrade and controller tab and it says that current version is 23.5 but is it true? So let me open this and we can see right there at the banner that it's already showing 20.3.5 uh, as the current version so uh, vBond and vSmart were upgraded successfully okay so now we can move on to uh, the vEdge so we go to software repository and we're going to add the image uh, 20.1.3 so we're going to upload into vManage unfortunately I had a problem with my camera so we're going to continue just like this and the image was uploaded successfully so now we go to software upgrade and we're going to select VH8 and we're going to select upgrade and we're going to select the version 20.1.3 and we're going to activate and reboot so this process might last around uh, 30 minutes or so because it will first have to uh, upload the file to the VH and then we'll install the new software version and then we'll activate and reboot so uh, we're going to pause for now and once it finishes we're going to continue okay it looks like the image was successfully installed on VH so if we go to software upgrade and let's look at VH8 
so the current version is 21.3 uh, but we have to make the default one because uh, the version 19.22 is still being the default version so we're going to set the default to be uh, 20.1.3 okay and then we'll have to delete the version 19.2.2 so we can uh, install uh, the latest version 20.3.5 okay version 20.13 is the default so we can delete uh, the version uh, 19.2.2 okay let me select this on r8 and we're going to delete available software so we're going to select 19.2.2 okay and it's going to take a minute okay it was completed so now let's upload uh actually we already have the version 20.3.5 uh we're just going to upgrade to this version so we go and select the r8 vh8 in this case and we're going to select upgrade to 20.3.5 and we want to activate and reboot so similar process as we did earlier so it's going to take around uh 40 to 60 minutes so once it completes we're going to continue okay the software installation is completed so if we go to maintenance software upgrade uh, we can see that v8 now is running uh, the version 20.3.5 and finally we can set this to be the default version uh, on vh8 so we're going to set it as default and it's completed so we now have uh, we manage running uh, the version 20.3.5 we have the controllers the other controllers vbone and vsmart also running uh, version 20.3.5 and we just uh, upgraded uh, vh8 to 20.3.5 as well Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you in the next one.